Hi everybody, this is Manuel, Manuel Martel Photography, and today I would like to introduce you to the brand new Luminar Neptune. So Neptune is an updated version of Luminar, which I believe is free if you're a Luminar user. And if you are not a Luminar user, which is a great MacFun product, by the way, it's an all-in-one editing software. It's a layer-based environment, so you can change sky, introduce different photos, and it is awesome. Let's start by talking about the workspace. There's a quick and awesome workspace. So there's different workspace that wasn't there before. And the, another new thing in Luminar, you have the Accent AI filter. So you may be very curious because I was about it. So Luminar, for well, MacFun's claiming that Luminar will look at your image and then decide what's good for your image, which in a way is totally true. I tried this filter with different images like portrait, landscape, city shot, and so forth. And Luminar is smart enough to look at your image and apply the right filters on it. Now you don't have much control over the filter because it's kind of like a, like a automatic kind of mode, which, but I find that in every cases, Luminar will choose the right filter and will actually apply a natural look to your image. So in this case, this is a shot I, sh I, I took in Quebec. So there's a farm and wind farms in the background and the sky is kind of cool. So then this filter played with the saturation, the contrast of the image primarily, right? And the shadows a bit. So I find like it's very good that way. It'll play with the shadows, it'll play with the contrast and will bring your image, uh, it will do a quick pop to your image. So it is a fantastic starting point where you're actually editing, I find. You just go and get the Accent AI filter if you want and then apply other different things very quickly. So that's another great feature. Now let's just clear this workspace to go back to something totally neutral. So you can add filters now the way you could before. You have these uh, selections now that you can choose from. And if you want to, you can go to all and there's your favorite one. So if you decide that you use the black and white conversion all the time, you just go like this. Or if you go back to uh, add filter, if you press that little star on the left of it, it will add that. You can switch that if you want straight to your favorite. So if it's something you do all the time, it's right there for you. If you don't want it there, just press on it and it'll be gone from your favorite, right? So that's another fantastic feature because you don't have to create workspace all the time. If it's something you use, then you just go around. If you want to use that new AI one, just press on the stars to your favorite and it's there, easy to use all the time. Okay. Now another great thing that Luminar Neptune offer is plugins. So you do press here, you get that little puzzle piece and those are the plugins for the MacFun Creative Suite there. Uh, if you go there, you'll find the plugin tab. If you do use Luminar as a plugin already, these options are not there for unknown reason. So let's say you go there and I have Focus Pro. So you press on there, it will bring your image to Focus Pro very quickly. So it uses the plugins and then you can go around, do your thing, and then just press apply whenever you're happy and then it will create that effect. So MacFun do offer great deals on their uh, other software as well. As well, they're not overly expensive. So once you find one, like some that you like, you can purchase them. And then if you're patient enough, you'll have good deals. If you want to, I normally post that under my um, my blog and stuff like that. So you can take a look at the end of this video. I'll have a link to my blog if you want to subscribe. But anyway, I get Focus for free. That was a deal they had at one point. And if you don't want to, it created a whole new layer with that on. So you can disable that layer if you feel you don't like it or just delete it. So again, the plugin, great, great, great tool right now. It's pretty awesome. So I'm just gonna disable this one at the moment. And there is new things happening as well. Uh, if you go to vignette, oh, actually, I actually had that my favorite and didn't realize, you can now place a centerpiece on your vignette. So let's say I go 
and add a lot of vignette to this. Oh, I'm in the wrong layer here. Never mind. We're going to add, I'm going to go to my favorites, and we're going to go to vignette. Okay. So I'm going to add lots of that vignette there. And then we can place the center by clicking on here. You can click, let's say, in the farm if you want, and you can change the actual uh, vignette placement, which is a fantastic feature if you ask me, because I was doing that into uh, Photoshop a lot, and having that option there is just so much better. So I really, really like that feature. And you get the post-crop or pre-crop mode. So if you're going to crop your photo, just make sure it's on post-crop. So there's different options as well. So my battery is getting low. And there's not a whole lot left to say about Neptune else than they worked a lot on behind the scene things that you won't necessarily be able to see in terms of there's no sliders for them but the how the software perform uh, they change a lot of their uh, coding I guess for uh, different filters as well and now everything is performing that much better so just keep in mind there's a lot of option in Light Luminar and they worked on a lot of new things so that's an all-around improvement from all the filters that we find into Luminar. So really it's more or less the same kind of like window and windows and interface that we had before except a few minor changes there. Just keep in mind it's that much better. Okay so hopefully that answer a few questions about Neptune or what's new in Neptune. And if you have any questions, any comments, just leave them below. And if you want to subscribe to uh, my YouTube channel or my journal, my blog, if you want to uh, uh, know when there's good deals on other Mac fun software, you'll learn them there. So until next time, I wish you all a good day. Bye.